So we're going to look at the pecan pie problem. And we're planning to make nine pecan pies. I'm going to simplify this question a little bit and just go for one pie. How many pecans in one pie? So you do have to click to get the extra information to show up. That's super important. And when you do that, <clears throat> the first thing they tell you, uh, we need one and a half cups per pecan pie. So your recipe calls for 1.5 cups per pecan pie. It's written as one and a half. I'm going to use 1.5 because that's a little easier on a calculator to type in. So we're gonna 1.5 cups per pie. So right now I know how many cups I need for each pie, it's 1.5. And I need to figure out how many pounds. So I need to go cups to pounds And this nutrition information is gonna help us do that. So I'm just writing here, one cup equals 99 grams. So we have significant problems here because we wanna to go to pounds, not to grams. So grams is a mass measurement, but it's not the right one. So I wanna go from grams to pounds. So now I need some information that's not in the problem. I'm gonna just go with the textbook so that we, uh, we're all using the same source here. So let's go ahead and go to the textbook. You can click, I already have it open here, uh, but where you click is the required reading problem solving. So it's the third thing here in uh, chapter, oh, here we go, get to the right, chapter one, required reading problem solving. So that's a document I'm using, and I zoom down to page nine in it, and it says one kilograms, 2.2 .2 pounds on earth, which is where we are. And there's a few other conversions somewhere around here, 100 grams equals one kilogram. So I'm gonna write down those two equations, 100 grams equals a kilogram, and one kilogram equals 2.2 .2 pounds. So G is grams, KG is kilograms. So 100 grams, oh, that's wrong, it's 1,000 grams. And 2.2 .2 pounds. Now pounds are LBS, I don't know why, equals one KG. So one kilogram is on both of these, so that means 100 grams equals 2.2 .2 pounds. 100 grams, one kilogram, one kilogram is also 2.2 .2 pounds. And so then these two have to be the same because they both equal the same thing. All right, I like to do unit conversions by solving for one. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go from grams into pounds so I need to be dividing by grams here. So I'm gonna take the equation we just had, I'm gonna divide by 1,000 grams. Do that to both sides. So on the left side, 1,000 divided by 1,000 is one. Grams and grams cancel. When you divide by the same thing, you get one. So we have 2.2 .2 over 1,000 and we have pounds per gram. I'm gonna use G for grams here. So now we can bring this down. One cup equals 99 grams. Now I'm gonna multiply by one, which doesn't change anything. So it still has uh, 99 grams still equal to one cup, but now I'm gonna replace one with this version right here. So we have 2.2 .2 LBS over 1,000 grams. The entire reason I did this is so now I have grams divided by grams, they're gonna cancel. I still have to work out these numbers. So we have 99 times 2.2 .2 divided by 1,000. The only units left are pounds. So now I am in pounds. I'm copying down the left side, one cup 
equals this many pounds. Now I need to run and grab the calculator. Any calculator will do. I'm just going to use the one that's already built in. We need 99 times 2.2 .2 divided by 1,000. So that's 99 times 2.2 .2 divided by 1,000. 0 0.2178. So we're almost there, but this is one cup. <clears throat> I want to have one and a half or 1.5, so I can multiply both sides by 1.5. So again, I'm multiplying, you have to treat both sides fairly. So we have one times 1.5, that's 1.5 cups equals this number times 1.5. I'm gonna run back to my calculator if I can. Where did that go? Times 1.5 equals 0.3267. Now the question called for nine, uh, nine times this much. This is one pi. So my correct answer will be nine times that amount. 